Hello everyone, my name is Anish Shah, a machine learning engineer on the growth team at Weights and Biases. Weights and Biases boosts ML team productivity by streamlining the ML workflow. With minimal code, instantly debug, compare, and reproduce models, including architecture, hyperparameters, git commits, model weights, GPU usage, datasets, predictions, and more, while promoting collaboration and serving as your ML system of record. Snowpark Container Services, currently available in private preview, is an expansion of Snowflake's processing engine that provides developers with the flexibility to deploy container images in Snowflake managed infrastructure. I'm excited to announce that Weights and Biases is available on Snowpark Container Services, allowing you to easily host and deploy your own instance of Weights and Biases. The Weights and Biases client is also available on Snowflake Anaconda channels. This will enable machine learning practitioners and adjacent members of your team to immediately begin managing their entire ML lifecycle in one centralized and privately hosted location. To highlight this exciting collaboration, we want to showcase an example comparing the latest and greatest from the large language model space for the creation of a conversational chatbot, which will allow users to ask natural language questions, such as list the total sales per country, or which country's customers spent the most of their database without needing to write SQL themselves. Behind the scenes, the large language model is able to understand this human-friendly question and automatically generate this SQL that is automatically executed in Snowflake. To develop this chatbot, we will utilize the popular framework LangChain to allow us to flexibly communicate with the most popular LM providers, such as Claude from Anthropic, Command from Cohere, and of course, GPT from OpenAI. LangChain will allow us to develop an autonomous agent from these LLMs, which will have the ability to reason over natural language questions and make decisions about how to generate valid SQL before deciding to execute it within our environment. To capture this chain of thought, we utilize our minimal LangChain weights and biases integration, which allows us to visualize and inspect the execution flow of our LLMs, analyze the inputs and outputs of our LLMs, view the intermediate results, and securely store and manage our prompts and LLM agent configurations. Now jumping to our code, which is living in the Snowpark container, we will install our relevant packages and define the environment variables necessary to communicate with these LM providers. Once ready, all we need to do is load our LangChain modules for creating our autonomous agent. In this case, we use create SQL agent to create agent that communicates with a SQL database, as you can see here. And to make this SQL agent work, we ensure that it has a SQL database toolkit that can ensure that it has valid and proper SQL generated so it can properly communicate with our database. Agents utilize a large language model for determining and sequencing actions, which can be tool usage and output observation, or even user response. Tools, simply Python functions with specific roles, can include Google search, database lookup, Python REPL, and others. The ones that are available for our agent are listed here. Query SQL Database Tool, Info SQL Database Tool, List SQL Database Tool, and Query Checker Tool. The agent in this case operates as per the instructions and the prompts defined in the zero, zero shot agent. It is tasked with answering questions using available tools, which for our SQL agent were listed below. In this case, the instructions are told to answer the following questions as best as it can, given access to the following tools. With our agent tool modules loaded, we import our native weights and biases LangChain integration. With only a few lines of code, all the complex interactions that are presented in the execution of our agent will be captured automatically in our weights and biases dashboard for analysis. For each of the LM providers, we define which specific model we want to serve as the brain behind our agent, listed here. We finally load the database we want our agent to communicate over. We're using the Chinook database, which is a sample digital music store with various relationships and tables perfect for testing the validity of SQL generated and executed by our agent. Lastly, all we need to do before running our agent is to define questions in natural English language, load our agent, and then pass our questions to our agent. Our weights and biases tracer callback will automatically capture all the interactions that you see printed out in the colorful text in standard out below as I scroll. Personally, I find this text of standard out difficult to analyze. If we navigate to our wits and biases dashboard, we're presented with the collection of LM experiments in our runs bar. We also have our trace view in the panel's workspace. The table at the top gives you high-level information about what you've logged, such as whether the chain was successful, the inputs and outputs of the chain, what the main components of the chain are, 
any errors that occurred in the chain, if any. And when we click the different rows of the table, we can see the trace timeline view update with more details. On the bottom half, we see the entire execution trace of the chain, including the components such as chain, LLMs, and any tools used by our agent. In the event of a chain failure, the component that failed will be highlighted in red. You can check the inputs to that component debug what went wrong. In the case, we can see that this action was not valid, as this is not the proper input to use our tool for our agent. From our deep analysis over these traces, we can see that GPT-4 is currently the superior option for SQL generation agent. As we deploy this agent into our production environments, we can ensure our data is streamed from our LLM to our weights and biases instance hosted on a snowpark with ease, making debugging a breeze. If you'd like to learn more about weights and biases prompts, please navigate the link below or join us at our bustling community in Discord. Thank you.